8 o'clock. Our team coverage continues this morning with our crews out in some of the areas that saw the most snow last night. 10 on your side's Kiana Patterson is live in Camden County, keeping an eye on conditions for all of our viewers in eastern North Carolina. And our Kayla Gaskins is in Suffolk this morning. Let's start there. And Kayla, we can see a lot of snow behind you. Oh yes, there is a lot of snow. This is an example of where you can be in one part of the city and you really just have a dusting and pretty patchy snowfall. And then you go about 15 minutes in the other direction within the same city limits and you get this that we have right here. We're off of Godwin. We're near OBC Hospital. Um, now earlier this morning I was saying I didn't have a ruler. I didn't know how much snowfall is here. I was kind of guesstimating it, eyeballing it. That is definitely not my strength. So a viewer was kind enough to stop by and uh, bring us this clipboard that has a ruler on it, so we've been measuring the snowfall. I know Jeremy Wheeler has been asking viewers to send in uh, their estimates. We had a man in Suffolk say four inches, and that is about what we have over here. You can see there's the four inch mark right there, and we are just below it. So quite a bit of snowfall out here in Suffolk. I think it's one of the heaviest areas that we've seen in Hampton Roads. There isn't a site of green grass or brown grass. I guess it's winter inside. Everything is completely blanketed. Now, once you get off of the main roads and onto those side streets, that's where we start to see a little bit of slush. So if you're getting out on the roads in the next few hours, definitely be careful. If those temperatures get any colder, that slush could turn to some dangerous ice. And here in Suffolk, public schools are closed today and all after school activities are canceled today as well. As far as those city offices are on a two hour delay, so they're going to open up at 1030 this morning instead of the regular start time. Also, the courts are closed today, so if you had any business at the courthouse, uh, you're going to have to save that until next week. And that's the latest from Suffolk. I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side. Kayla, thanks. Now, some spots in North Carolina saw a bit more snow than here in Virginia. That's right. 10 on your side. Kiana Patterson is in Camden County. Kiana, how are the roads there? Well, here in Camden County, the roads are the best we've seen. We were in Elizabeth City a little earlier in the morning, and we saw slush and ice on the roads along Highway 17. But this is also Highway 17 here in Camden County, and you can see it is completely clear. Um, the cars are driving smoothly. There's no ice. There's no slush. Um, and NCDOT crews did a very good job of making sure that these roads are clear. They've been scraping and treating the roads all morning long. And we did speak with Christy Sanders with the emergency management. We just got off the phone with her not too long ago and she says the road conditions are, are very well. Not much has changed since the last time I talked with her, but they are keeping an eye on areas with wet roads. They don't want that wetness to turn into ice. So they are keeping an eye on that and they do ask drivers to give some distance to the other cars around you and also drive slowly. Now also want to point out that there is some snow on the ground here is just in half an inch. So nothing that we've seen in Suffolk or in the other areas, but it is a half an inch here on the grassy areas, but the roads are completely clear so you guys can move on through quickly. We're in Camden County, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side. And here's a live look at the south side. Our photographer Chris Omahan is on Mount Pleasant Road in Chesapeake. You can see there's a lot of snow there, but the road appears to be in pretty good shape. A problem for some of our viewers this morning is power outages. Here's a live look at Dominion Energy's outage map. Uh, it looks like at this point just over 1,500 people in our viewing area are in the dark. Most of them are in North Carolina and Suffolk. A Dominion Energy spokeswoman says crews worked through the night to restore power. You can check with Dominion to find out when power will be back on in your neighborhood. You can find that outage map at dom.com. This is the first taste of snow we've seen in Hampton Roads in a while. Some of you took advantage of that, got outside to enjoy it. Here's some video from Chesapeake City Park yesterday afternoon. Our crews saw some people out exercising. We also spotted those who just wanted to have fun playing in the snow. We caught up with a father and son having a snowball fight. And since we don't get snow often, they told us they just wanted to enjoy the moment. Oh, it's awesome. I enjoy it. He makes me a big kid, so it's a blast when we get opportunities like this to enjoy the snow and being outside. Today is a snow day for a lot of kids in the area. We have school closings scrolling across your screen right now. We also received a lot of delays and closings from city offices and businesses, so be sure to check wavy.com before you head out this morning.